All right. Welcome back to another episode of my movie review series, episode 128. Last week I said I was going to come back and do a review on a movie. That is a, oh yeah, I said I was going to go up upstate. <laughs> I was going to go uh yeah, I was going to go far up north. And uh far up north and um deal with some uh some vampires because it is now vampire week during this whole eventful month of October. So yeah, man, 30 days of night. I tell you, man, what a concept. What a concept. I mean, you know, you're going to... If you're going to... If you're going to be stuck... In a situation where vampires... <laughs> rules the entire an entire full month then man I tell you what better place to be than Alaska <laughs> nothing against Alaska I mean you know you guys can see Russia from your house I'm sure <laughs> but still seriously though nothing against Alaska but still man you know for the winter season, they got this, you know, I don't know in real life, but in this particular story, for the winter season, they got this 30 days of night, you know, uh, the, uh, the polar, what's it called, the um, month-long polar night. Month long polar night. Oh man. I mean, you know, eight o'clock in the morning. I'm eating breakfast. And it's still do like it's eight o'clock in the evening outside. <laughs> you know. You know, while we are on our morning grind. It was like, yeah, while we are on a morning grind, working the uh, first shift, it looks like we're working the uh, the third shift. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, man, yeah. You know, you got to go through all of that. And then, to top it off, you have a group of vampires coming to slaughter the entire town. Because... This is so perfect for them. I mean, the weather, you know, the winter weather, you know. I mean, hey, they're already dead, undead, you know. So they're going to, <laughs> they're going to um, enjoy this perfect winter weather, you know, the the cold. And yeah, since 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 it's yeah since it's Alaska, you know, the cold weather. Is one hundred percent imminent. I mean, damn, severe. I mean, shit. I live in Michigan, and cold weather. You know, here we're complaining about. What's up? Cold weather here. We're complaining about. But, jeez, man, oh man. Alaska, it would be minus 50 degrees at some some time. I mean, you got to wear layers upon layers on top of layers. Super thick boots, you know, just to uh, keep your ass warm. But yeah, I tell you, you know, but, but you know, if you're a vampire, then hey. That shit is no problem for you. <laughs> that is no problem at all. I mean, you're going to uh, you're going to be up there and not feel a thing. 
<laughs> you know? But yeah, I tell you, yeah, these group of vampires, you know, they're going to show up in this Alaskan, in this Alaskan town, um, Burrow, Alaska. They're going to show up, and yeah, they're just going to uh, wreck havoc, you know, shut them down, open up shop, you know, <laughs> Do some nasty rough fighter type shit. And yeah, it's just gonna be. It was bad. Okay, this movie, this movie, it, I gotta tell you, you know, I am not too familiar with this movie. I gotta be honest with you, I'm not too familiar with this movie. But watching it, every time I do watch it, you know, I really, I really watch it, but every time I do watch it, I, I just like the movie. I mean, I really like this movie. So yeah, you know, watching these vampires, you know, watching these vampires, and then this is this is you know this is two thousand seven, by the way, you know, thirty days of night, two thousand seven. Yeah, you know, watching these vampires do their thing in two thousand seven. I think this was, <clears throat> I think this was the very last time we ever saw some real vampire action before that Twilight bullshit came around and just. Wiped clean, ruined everything that was all vampire. Yeah, thirty days and I mean, hey, if this this is how vampires is gonna go out. Vampires in cinema. This is this is how they're gonna go out. Then this is how you're gonna go out with a huge bang, Jack. The last fight scene too. I mean, shit, the last fight scene. It was just, it was crazy. It was crazy. I mean, vicious, man. That's the word I'm looking for. It was crazy. Vicious. Brutal. I mean, the leader of the group, Marlo, you know, dude got his head. A, a new hole got punched into his head, okay? He was coming in for the attack. Next thing he knew, pow! Ooh, right through his mouth, outside the back of his head. His, a new hole just got punched right through there. It was nasty. Ooh, it was, it was nasty. It was bad. Ooh. I mean, the sheriff in that movie, you know, played by uh, Josh Hartnett. You know, I'm, I'm pretty much going all over the place. I'm going backwards here. So yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, thirty, yeah, thirty days of night, two thousand seven, starring Josh Hartnett, Melissa George, Danny Hudson, Ben Foster, Mark, Mark Boone Junior. To just name a few, you know, directed by. Um, Directed by David Slade, written by Steve Niles, Stuart, Betty, Brian Nelson, you know, based off a graphic novel, a, a, a comic book series, not, not exactly a graphic novel, but it is a, a short-lived comic book series, a mini-series, a comic book mini-series, yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, comic book miniseries by um, IDW and those cats. You know, IDW and yeah, those those cats. They are very very edgy. I mean, you should see what they've done with Ninja Turtles. So yeah, <laughs> poor Donatello. But yeah, I tell you though, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing, yeah, based off of a comic book miniseries of the same name. You know, Thirty Days of Night. You know, if you've seen those promotional photos, you know, blood red, and you see the vampire, a vampire from the, from the film, you know, screaming in the sky, if you 30 days of night, based off of the, of the graphic novel. So, yes, it is a graphic novel. <laughs> based off the graphic novel. Coming in October. Yeah, if you see that, then yeah, you are one hundred percent familiar with this shit. 
But yeah, I'll tell you though. Yeah, these are the yeah, yeah, these vampires in this movie. It's just one of the most nastiest, most vicious sons of bitches I have ever seen on film. I mean, ever seen. And yeah, this is like this is like one of the last times we ever see a real cool, vicious vampire, you know, the real vampire, the true vampire in a movie before that Twilight bullshit came in and destroyed everything. You know, now vampires are sparkly. So yeah, I'll tell you though. Yeah, three man, three days a night, man. This is You can't deny it. This is this is this movie right here, this movie is the shit. This movie is the shit. So yeah, you know. Yeah, so you know, yeah, the the, the story though, you know, yeah, the story goes that um, you know the people in this town, you know, they are attacked by a group of vampires, you know. Because these vampires, they're taking full advantage of the um, polar, the, the, they're taking full advantage of the uh, the polar, the, the, the month-long polar night. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. But, yeah, you know, there's a, a subplot in this movie that has not been introduced. But, if you checked out the, um... If if you remember, the um, the um, seven part mini series that aired on Fearnet years back, um, a few days it aired in the same month, but it was like a few days before the movie came out because the movie was released on uh. October 19th. Hmm. How about that? Same day Halloween was released, you know, on a Friday, too. How about that? Hmm. Yeah, 2007, 2018. Yeah, boom. But, yeah, I tell you, though, yeah, you know, <clears throat> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, blood trails, 30 Days of Night blood trails, and yeah, that miniseries, that seven-part miniseries that aired on FearNet, just a few days before, I think it was a week before, 30 Days of Night, the movie came out. If you saw that, then you saw the reason why those vampires did go to Alaska, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, that whole subplot that was not mentioned in this movie was mentioned in that miniseries. So yeah, if you can look for it, because it's not Fearnet no more, because Fearnet is no longer in existence, unfortunately. So yeah, if you can look for it anywhere, you will know about the uh, that mini story. Yeah, three days of night blood trails. But yeah, I tell you though, man. Yeah. You got this uh this guy Ben Foster. His character, you know, he, uh, he pretty much helped deliver the vampires to, uh, to, uh, this Alaskan town. He, he, he pretty much did his part in the, uh, in the, um, in the, uh, the deal, hoping that he will get turned into a vampire. <laughs> nah, Jack. Oh, Marlo, he had other, he had other plans. The things they believe. Mm, 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 mm. Hm. <laughs> Who made him think he could trust a vampire? <laughs> I mean, if this was those pussy ass Twilight vampires, oh, yeah, you can trust them. Yeah. <laughs> but I tell you, though. This movie, though, mm. yeah, one of the most nastiest, vicious son bitches that I have ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> that little girl in that movie, and <laughs> that little girl, you know, she turned vampire. <laughs> you know, you see her eating the, 
eating that chick's neck. I mean, she was just devouring the entire throat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you turn around, yeah, yeah. You wanna play with me now? <laughs> yeah, face is vampire. Yeah, those teeth, the darkened eyes. But yeah, I tell you though, yeah, Josh Hartnett's character, you know, he yeah, he's the sheriff in this town, you know, and uh, what a sheriff to do, but you know what, go into hiding and pretty much live with this entire situation. And that's pretty much what he did do, you know. He and the, the rest of the uh, the rest of the uh, the survivors of this whole ordeal, you know. Yeah, he was. Yeah, you know. He, yeah, they pretty much went into hiding, and they um, lived with this slaughter for thirty days. But you know, but 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 by the time by the time time was winding down, you know, we get to the home stretch, and yeah, we gotta go and. We gotta go and take care of these things, so you know, you know. They 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 took their last stand, and they went. They went to uh, they went to go get them. Yeah, the deputy sheriff, deputy sheriff um, Billy. Yeah, he tried to uh. He tried to uh, handle it, but you know. He tossed one into a. Uh, a shredder, uh, a huge shredder. But unfortunately, his hand got caught. So yeah, he was starting to, uh, he was starting to turn. So the old sheriff, Josh Hartnett's character, Eben, Eben Olson. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah, this sheriff, yeah, he uh, he had to take care of old Billy. And knowing that he couldn't handle these vampires by himself, you know, not not the way a human would ha handle another human, you know, he couldn't handle these vampires, so Billy's uh, co contaminated, I guess you could say, you know, you know, he just you know, he was turning into a vampire, but you know. Yeah, he took uh, Billy's blood and he injected it into himself. Yeah, now that he's contracted, he now got a fighting chance against old Marlo. Yeah, so yeah, he hood up. He went out there, you know, they, these group of vampires, they're just standing there. Yeah, they're burning everything down so they can show no traces of anybody ever being there because, you know, time is starting to wind down. You know, they, you know we got to go. You know, we got to go to another another place, another, another place, another town and do the same thing we did here because, you know, we're vampires. We can do that. And nothing you can do about it because we're badass. And so, yeah, there you go. But yeah, this old sheriff, now that he's contracted with vampirism, he goes up to, uh, you know, hooded up. He goes up to, uh, to old Marlo and gets him with some real good stiff jabs in there. You know, they stick it over there. They start to uh, get into a nice little good one on one fight, you know, a vicious fight. Like I said, old Marlo found a new hole in his head. Big right hand from Sheriff Olsen. Boom, boom, nasty, nasty. And so the other vampires in this group, you know, what happens in the Art of War when the um, leader is defeated? The rest of the army disbands. So that's exactly what these vampires did, you know. When uh, Marlo found a new hole in his head, the rest of them left. Yeah, they uh, flee from the uh, they flee from the scene, you know. So you know, after that, after that, after this whole thing that went down, you know, Marlo he and he uh, he and his wife, you know, they. Go and check out the uh, the daylight once more. Sun is on a rise. 
Marlo, he's a vampire. So, we all know what's going to happen if you know vampire lore. So, yeah, he and his wife holding each other one more time, sharing one more kiss. And, you know, as she stares off into the, uh, into the distance, oh, Marlo burst into ash. And this is pretty much the, um, it's pretty much just the, um, reverse effect of what happened at the end of Blade 2, you know, in the Blade, he's holding Nisa in his arms, and, uh, and as she, she and Blade look, look at the, the sunrise together, you know, she starts to, uh, burn away into ashy cinder very slowly and very romantically as these two, you know, look into each other's eyes and Blade, he tried to cross her face, but, you know, he, it just breaks away when he, when he touches her because, you know, she's disintegrating, burning off. So, yeah, you know, yeah, that was a, that was a nice little romantic way of that movie ending. Yeah, I'll check out the rest of that. I'll cover the rest of that movie further down the line, but as of right now, you know. Oh, Sheriff. Sheriff Olsen, you know. Now he just feel the sun burning the shit out of him. Ah! And he just turns into, he just turns into black ash, and he just breaks away, you know. Very tragic ending to a very awesome, awesome story. Awesome movie. But yeah, I'll tell you though, yeah, 30, 30 days of night. Yes, this is this is the movie to uh, this is the movie to check out. This is the movie to see, man. I tell you, you gotta go and you gotta uh, yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, go out to the uh, entertainment store and buy this fucking movie, you know. No. Order, order it online, whatever you, whatever you do, I mean, however you get movies these days, you know, digital HD, whatever, you know, however, however you get movies these days, do your thing and get this movie, yeah, be, get familiar with this movie if you have not, if you have not, I'm gonna fuck you watch this review, so yeah, get familiar, 30 Days of Night, you know. And then check out that sequel, 30 Days of Night, Dark Days. And, uh, you can be disappointed on that either. I've seen that movie more than I saw the first. <laughs> so, yeah, I tell you, yeah, you know. Good shit, good awesome. Good awesome shit. Check it out. Everything. 30, 30 Days of Night. And hell, if you really want to be clever, you go into the uh, comic book store and check out those three issues. That three issue miniseries, 30 Days of Night. And if you really want to be a super fan about it, look for um, <laughs> Blood Trails. It's out there on DVD and Blu ray, someplace. Someplace. It's out there. Look for it. Get, get into this shit. Because, like I said, this was the last time you ever see some real nasty, tough motherfucking vampires before Twilight came in and ruined everything. So, yeah, get into this 30 days of night. Yeah, uh, yeah, my rating for this. I mean, I'm going to rate this movie a. Well, you know, like I said, I'm not very familiar with it, but, you know, when I saw it, you know, every time I do see it, you know, it's just pretty fucking awesome. But still, you know, since the movie did not cover everything, you know, you got to check out a mini series on Fear That before you check out this movie, you know. <laughs> yeah, you read the comics, you know, you check those out too, you know, before you check out this movie. But yeah, the rating of this movie I give is a four out of five because you know the movie is awesome, but since it did not cover everything, you know, you had to uh, it is a piece missing. So there's a piece missing in this uh, rating. Four out of five. Thirty days of night, Jack. That's my review, and I'm sticking to it. Now. 
Now, wow, well, wait, wait a minute. You know what? It just occurred to me that this is the, this is the final week of October. This is the final full week of October. I mean, next week we end up we got the rest of the days remaining, and next thing you know, Wednesday Halloween. Hmm. I mean, yeah, next week I'm going to come back with another review. Next week, next Saturday, I'm coming back with another review, but a Halloween special. What should I cover in this Halloween special? I'm thinking it will it will be 100% obvious that I should cover Halloween, right? Maybe. I might cover Halloween. Maybe. I might color. Cover. Color. I might cover the other Halloween. Maybe. Or I just might hit you in the head with something that stands alone. So, yeah. Check out my other shit right here and subscribe to me right here. But in the meantime, in between time, Jack. This show is uh, 